Jesus the Master soul winner said to his disciples in Matthew the fourth chapter the 19th verse follow me and I will make you fishers of men as we follow Jesus we see him touch the eyes of the blind and they're opened and the ears of the deaf and they're unstopped we see him healing we see him ministering to Nicodemus by night and leading Nicodemus to a meaningful experience with God we see him reaching out to the woman at the well and providing social and emotional healing to her. We see Jesus breaking the bread and caring for people's physical needs and feeding the 5,000. In John 5, we see him healing the man by the pool of Bethesda. What a Jesus he was. Jesus was the master medical missionary. It's written of Jesus in Matthew chapter 9, verse 27 and 28 and onward, that Christ went about the villages of Galilee teaching and preaching and healing. Medical missionary work is the gospel in practice. What is medical missionary work? It's loving service. You and I are medical missionaries. We're to reach out and love and touch people and meet their felt needs, the needs they perceive they have, so that we can ultimately meet their ultimate needs and lead them to Christ. When I was a young pastor, I had the privilege of going to Wildwood Medical Missionary Institute. And I think Wildwood helped me in a variety of ways. Number one, I associated with Elder W.D. Frizee, and he challenged me to fill my mind with the Bible and the spirit of prophecy. That was a great blessing to me. Number two, although I was interested in medical missionary work before going to Wildwood, it expanded my vision and deepened my knowledge, and that was very helpful to me. Number three, at Wildwood I saw the Spirit of God work in the lives of pastors who came there at times, in the lives of people from the community, and the lives of students. And I was really able to see a ministry of faith and a ministry of miracles, so it was a really a blessing to me. Now, serving at the General Conference, we have a worldwide initiative of medical missionary work around the world, and the things that God trained me in 45 years ago are really coming back to be a tremendous blessing to my life now. You know, in Ezekiel chapter 47, God sees a, shows a river that goes through the earth, and it really represents the healing power from the throne of God. It represents the medical missionary work that will broaden and deepen as time goes on. We at the General Conference believe that God has raised up the Seventh Adventist Church at a unique time in Earth's history to reach out, to appeal to people, physically, mentally, and spiritually, to prepare them for the coming of Jesus. So we encourage every young person to really be dedicated to Jesus Christ, to be dedicated to the Adventist message, and to reach out to touch their friends, their neighbors, with the gospel of Christ, and to reach out and to get whatever training necessary, wherever necessary, to be a medical missionary for Jesus.